at SM Marilao right now and I'm looking for a place to eat. So come and join me this lunchtime and I've missed this place and I want to try out restaurants that I've never tried before. Ha? is one of my favorite things to do while I'm on leave. It's been two years since I last visited this place and I've noticed that there were so many changes. And most of all, there are lots of new restaurants in this place. I was confused to choose which one I'd go to. But when I saw this billboard, I suddenly craved for something Japanese. So I went in and tried the food at Ramen Kuroda. Japanese food is usually expensive, but I was drawn to this place because the ramen here starts at an affordable price of around 180 pesos or three dollars and 44 cents While waiting for my food, I'll set up my art things and my gouache paints The truth is I had no plans to shoot the video today, but I thought it would be great to document my first visit at this restaurant. I wanted to try as many meals as I can, so I bought this meal set, which costs only 340 pesos or $6.51. It includes a ramen of your choice, so I chose this Kuro Ramen, which is tonkotsu with roasted garlic flavor, curry chicken rice. Also, it has tea and fruits on the side. The first bite of the pork was heavenly because it's very tender. I also love the roasted garlic flavor of this ramen. But no matter how delicious the food is, I have to eat little by little so that my acid reflux won't shoot up. So this is where the painting will come in. While chewing my food, I'll try to practice this skill set for now. I think painting is a better pastime rather than looking at your phone while eating food. Besides, I'm also trying to improve my skill set here and to keep me away from boredom while trying to chew food little by little. I must admit that along the way, I wanted to give up because the picture doesn't look good. Also, the condiments don't seem to have the right proportion. I could not believe I'm done with my ramen. One of the downsides of eating too slow is that the food can grow cold. Despite of that, I still think this Japanese curry tastes really good. I felt bad for a while that I wasn't able to perfect my painting. You know, most of the time we'd like to give up when we don't like how things are going, right? But if we give up in the middle of the process, then I don't think we'll ever learn anything from it. It's really good to finish a task because of the outcome it makes. But what's more important is the character that develops in us when we go through that process. And this painting is just an example on how we should react or take action on things. What makes a picture beautiful is the story behind on how it is made. 
What I liked best in this place is that people did not bother me while I was painting. I think it's very rare for people here in the Philippines to see somebody painting in public, so I get stared at when I do but not this time. Now, painting bottles and glasses is not easy because you have to catch the correct lighting and shadows. But it did not matter this time. Maybe because I was conscious of the time and I had to hurry to get home early. Still, I think I can do better next time. I really wasn't at my optimum when I painted because all I just wanted to do was um, make some painting while finishing my food so I'll be able to eat soon. After finishing my work, I can now also finish my tea. Oh yes, I'd like to come back here and try another ramen. So I've just come out of the restaurant and um, it was a cool experience especially that for the first time I tried painting inside the ramen house and right now I'm still full and I'd like to go around more so it would help with my digestion <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again in my next video bye so it would help I'm hoping it's oh come on this is for the bomb <laughs>